Hi guys, what's going on? In this video, I'll show you how to fix this Windows Defender problem that shows this pop-up saying page not available or you are just seeing a blank screen. I will show you how to fix that. I have divided the entire video into three simple steps. The first two steps are easy to follow, but the third one is the most powerful and mind-blowing trick to fix this issue. So without any further introduction, let's jump in. Step number one. Type Regedit in the search bar to open the registry editor. Please make sure you open it in administration mode. And under HKEY local machine, go to software, then policies, then Microsoft. And from here, select Windows Defender. And please make sure you right click and click on delete. I have already deleted this, so I will not do that right now. Once you have done this, you can close the window. Now, make sure there is no third-party antivirus running on your system. If running, then disable from the icon tray. Now, step 2. Type gpedit to open the group policy editor. Here, you can see the local group policy editor panel. But if you are using Windows Home or Student Edition, you will not be able to open this group policy editor. For that, go to the link I have given in the description box. Download this file. This is a .bat file. You can see this kind of warning message. Just ignore it because this is an executable file. Google Chrome is showing this kind of warning message. I will show you there is nothing malicious. You can see this is the .bat file. If I open this file inside notepad, you can see there is nothing malicious. You can copy the script and create your own .bat file. So once this is created or downloaded, right click and run as administrator. Now a command prompt window will open and there will be some processes. After that, you will be able to open gpedit inside your Windows Home version. So please make sure you restart your computer after the process. Okay, now open the group policy editor. Here from the left side, under computer configuration, open administrative template, then Windows components, and then find Windows security. Here at the right side, virus and threat protection, now go to hide the virus and threat protection area and right click and click on edit. And please make sure you select it as not configured or disabled. Then apply and OK. Once you have done this, now you need to open CMD. Right click, run, run as administrator. And here type GP update space forward slash force and hit enter. Now. The computer policy has been updated. If you restart the computer, now I hope you will be able to open the virus and threat protection setting. If not, the third and the last step, type security health setup GIF and open the Microsoft community um, website and then find this link from here. If there is any updated link, you can click on that. Then download the file. Now uh, right click on the file to run as administrator. I have given the link in the description box. You can do it from there also. Now, uh, there will be some processes. It will take few seconds. And then, I hope your problem is solved. You can restart the computer once again. And then, let us try to open virus and threat protection. And you can see this is working perfectly fine. Let us go to quick scan. Yes, the current scanning is processing. I will terminate it. You can turn this real-time protection on or off from here. I will suggest it to keep it always on. So this was the complete video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.